The thiosulfate test and the acetate test are both very similar. What you do for them is you just take a single drop into a beaker, actual drop. And then you just add a drop of hydrochloric acid to them, and that's going to produce a gas that will have quite the odor. And so what you want to do is you want to kind of let that spread out on the bottom of the beaker so you get a lot of fumes coming off of it. And that's why we don't want to do that in a test tube where it's much more constricted. And then after that, you can just take it and go ahead and give it a waft, and you should detect the odor. And then you're going to repeat the same process with your unknown, where you put your unknown mixed with some hydrochloric acid into a beaker and see if the smell is the same. You'll probably want to use a different beaker so you don't smell what was previously there. And then if you're having trouble, you can heat these. You can also try pouring them into the sink. In the sink, they'll really spread out, and then you'll get a, a much bigger odor.